And my father used to take us in the Coliseum to see the Rams play back in the 50s and 60s. And our seats burned were so high in the Coliseum that you needed the Palomar telescope to identify the players. But I fell in love with football and I fell in love with the Rams. And look how far you have come sitting in the nosebleeds of the LA Coliseum to hanging out in Pat Mahomes box in Kansas City. I'll tell interns or whatever, you know, see Tom Cruise, he played Lee Steinberg <laughs> and they'll be like, wow, I mean, that's that's some cachet even now. You got to admit that, Lee. Well, actually, uh, I think the pictures back there of us on the set with Cuba Gooding and uh, and Tom Cruise. Well, Cameron Crowe, the director, came to me back in 1993 and it's now been 25 years since the film came out and asked if he could follow me around and be a fly on the wall and pick up uh, atmosphere for a film that would center around a sports agent. And then I took Cuba Gooding Jr. with me down to the Super Bowl and made him pretend he was a wide receiver all week to put him in role. And uh, I actually had to show the quarterback in the film played by uh, Jerry O'Connell how to throw a spiral because he had gone to NYU and they didn't have a football program. Mm -hmm. So it's been 25 years of every time I go to the airport or out to dinner, someone running up to the table and either asking me to say or saying to me those four words that start with show me the. What you gonna do, Jerry? Show me the money! It all started at Cal um, when I was a dorm counselor in an undergrad dorm at Berkeley and they moved the freshman football team into the dorm and one of the students was the quarterback Steve Bartkowski. So after I graduated from uh, law school at Berkeley, I traveled for a year. When I came back, Bartkowski had been the very first player picked in the first round of the NFL draft by Atlanta and uh, he asked me to represent him. And there I was brimming with legal experience and uh, we, we got lucky and got the largest rookie contract in NFL history. I couldn't get by without bringing up, uh, yeah, there, was, there was certainly a time where everybody wanted to hitch themselves to Lee Steinberg and that includes my industry. When I started off at Cron forever ago, you had some clients in that newsroom. Now I'm here at KPIX and there was a time where <laughs> everybody on the air was under the umbrella of Lee Steinberg. We were just well, we talking about anchor, that list. We had the anchor team of Dave McElhadden, Wendy Jacuda, and Wayne Walker, and also uh, Jan Hutchins, and then Colleen Williams, and Gary uh, Rebstock, and Barbara Rogers, and the people who did uh, Evening Magazine, Janie and a Hero, and the early morning talk show, which then was Ma Ross McGowan and Ann Frazier. I even represented a dog because there was a show on KPX called Mac and Muttley <laughs> with Doug O'Connell and Muttley was the star and he wanted more than a few biscuits, you know, dog biscuits as his <laughs> compensation. But well, yeah, four legs, no two legs didn't matter, mate, but you were, we're so awfully proud of your journey, Lee. You've been to the mountaintop, stumble a little bit, climb back up and you're enjoying the view. So awfully proud of what you've accomplished in this profession. Thanks so much for a few minutes and continued success, Lee. Thank you, Vern, you do a great job.